morning, everybody. Here it's a day after Easter and evidently I've lost track of how many videos this is because he's done at least one, maybe two without me. And I was informed yesterday that my count was off, <laughs> but that's all right. So we don't know what number we're actually on on this, but he's the one that does the numbers on the video. So I don't know. But anyway, our goal for today, we have a couple of things. Um, first off is I'm going to go over here and direct instead of pointing from the video because, you know, that's really hard. We're going to side this in. As you can tell, we got the insulation in here yesterday. We're going to side this in. We're going to put a piece up here. We're going to form a door on here. Um, I'm going to run to the store again. We should be keeping track of how many running to the stores we make. Um, and we're going to put a door on here. So I'm going to go to the store, get hinges and little, what are they called? Drop latches? Drop latches. Like a drop slide latch, latch. Slide latch. And then we are going to make sure I don't fall down the stairs. Box this in. And we're going to get a couple of hinges for this. A couple of drop latches for that. This is going to go clear over. Um, this will all be cleared out. The wires are over the, the box that we're going to have. This will be open. Um, so we're going to have all this open. This is about a eight or nine inch gap here. So this is going to be all for storage here. We're going to insulate the back end of this. Um, but this is going to be all enclosed. So this will be storage, basically a cubby for us. Um, it'll all be closed. We're using the same style of wood, same as this. Um, it'll be up here. We're just going to um, rip this in half, basically, or, or use that to do for our doors and everything here. So that way it all matches. Um, he of course is doing most of that work. I'm going to run to the hardware store again. They're getting to know me on a first name basis there. Yay. Um, but that's what we're going to use to do this, um, to have the doors come down, cover all this stuff and everything else. It'll be stained. It's probably the same color as the siding and the roof. Um, I might do the doors and stuff, the coloring that I do the furniture in here, just to give it a little bit of touch of a color. Um, Collar, my bad. Don't ask where that came from. Don't know. The other thing that we're going to do is we have insulation wherever he put it. I'm not sure. Um, it is like kills mat. Put I think. Insulation. This. Yeah. It's real thin. It's like kills mat. Um, it's sound deadening, but sound deadening type of stuff. Um, we're going to be putting it up on this fiberglass here. We're going to put it on this back here. We're going to put it on the um, handicap door. And we're putting it on the back door and we're putting it on the wheel wells. Um, that part is going to be my job today after I'm done running the errands to get all the hinges and the latches for this stuff. So while he that construction, oh, what was that? <laughs> that was him hitting the wood when he put the mat down. So then I will be scrubbing down all that stuff, making sure it's clean um, and getting that done in between sawing, hopefully. Uh, so I'll probably start the back door and work my way forward, possibly. Yeah. And that way I can get that part of it done. So that I think is our goal. Um, once that box is done, our next goal, hopefully in the next couple of days, they will be here to get the back section done so we can get our mini split put up and get that section done. We'll have it up with a couple cubbies and then we can start doing the staining process in the next day or two or three hopefully and then um but with this probably being done today we can go ahead and start the staining process hopefully maybe tomorrow um because we're just going to be waiting on them to do the mini split portion of it um and once the staining is done then we can lay the floor so yeah um i think that's I think that's our goal you, for today. You covered a lot. You covered like two days worth of work. <laughs> what can I say? Um, but the box, the kill mat, that's today's goal. I think we'll get, we'll, we'll definitely be able to get all that hopefully done today. So that's, that's compared to what we've done in a day, that should be easy. Fingers crossed. All right. <laughs> he's just trying to show you his beard. And he's, he's got it all trimmed for Easter. What can I say? But um, hope everybody had a wonderful holiday yesterday and enjoy the time lapse. Okay. Nine, ten hours worth of work in two minutes. If that. <laughs> Bye.
So we got one set of the lights off and he is about to start removing the other set. We decided to go ahead and pull it off now and then just seal it from the inside. And then when the kit comes in, we will go ahead and put that on it. It appears there's four screws like on the outside and then there's four other screws holding the like inner portion of it where the bulb's at. Well, I'm not getting any of them. What is the white stuff coming out of that one? Silicone. Oh. There goes the red one. Are these ones unhooked inside? I didn't think. Let's see if this one's completely rusted like the other one. Yep. He will take it from the inside and put a silver tape on it, which is really good and like water resistant and all that other happy stuff and close it up from the inside. So that way we can go ahead and finish up the box we're working on. That portion of the bus right there appears to be a fiberglass. So we're, he's being a little bit more gentle with it so that way it's not but the screw is rusted He's trying to loosen it up to where he can manually turn it, and that's kind of like he unscrews it the way he is now. Hopefully that's working. Yeah, this is what we had to do on the other side. You're twisting the wires, babe. There it goes. He's had to do this with the bottom screw on all of them. And it's down. And I won't bore you with the details of watching the last one, but he'll end up I'll probably having to do that with this last one too. I don't know if I can get to the inside with the tape or I have to do it out here. All right, we got them all four down. We have ordered our flasher kits from schoolie.com and they should be here in the next couple of days. And we will get at least the front taken care of because we have not gotten the back lights flashers down yet, but that'll probably be tomorrow's project. Get those taken down and the get those taped off. So that way that'll be another project down. Now to the inside to get those taped off and taken care of. We'll be back.
All right, it's about nine hours later, probably two minutes your time. Yep. <laughs> we got most of the front box in. Yep. Except for the door on the big, the big door, big box. Yeah. And uh, I'll flip the camera over so you can see it. We got the front boxed in. He did great. Don't have a latch on this yet, but and actually you have to trim it down, I guess, because it's hitting the other door. But just figured that out. That's just to get to the wiring. And then this is just a little cubby that we made. Not much room in there, but it's better than nothing. We've just been wasting space. Then we got this big, bigger cubby, which will hold a lot more stuff. And the Wi-Fi put the sound deadener on the uh, wheel well and on the back door. We're going to do another layer on the back door tomorrow. And then once that's done, this is going to get shifted over to this side. That's going to get cleaned up down there. So I can get to that wheel well, get that wheel well done. And then while that's all cleaned up, this is all going to get cleaned out so that way we can put the ramp down and I can actually do the ramp because when you're working in a very enclosed tight space you can only do as much space as you can do so but with the door we're gonna do it to where we try to do it in like solid sheets because I kind of did that piece and it doesn't look very pretty but <coughs> it's gonna be covered and look prettier anyways after we're done with it so I'm gonna probably cover it with fabric and make it look pretty so or try at okay. least so we'll see tomorrow I'm gonna finish up that door up there and close yep. that in and then work on uh, drilling the holes for the lights yes that's what we were doing in the last thing if it shows us like looking at the ceiling was figuring out where we're gonna put the two inch lights he'll probably get the lights um, put in you um, can't put them in until you stain oh well, he'll get the holes done, um, and then we'll probably maybe even start, once he gets that done, maybe even start staining a little bit tomorrow. Um, we've got a, a hammock ordered. We're actually going to put a spot under here to hold a hammock that is big enough to hold almost 400 pounds. So it'll be able to hold both of us. So when we're out and about, we can actually drop the ramp down and relax and sit on the hammock and watch whatever we want to watch. So that's going to be um, probably that bolt we put in tomorrow too while we have this down. He can insert that bolt. Um, so that'll be another thing we try to accomplish tomorrow. Um, but yeah, moving right along one day at a time, but we're getting there. But just thank you all for watching the videos. Um, we appreciate it. We appreciate you guys and have a wonderful day. Bye.